Finally got the box. It's already kind of open. It's a little disturbing. But let's see what all came in here. I ended up getting this off of Amazon, so it really took like six days to get here with free shipping. I mean, the shipping itself was four days, but two days were the weekend, which don't count. So I've been waiting quite a bit for this thing. I know some people had to wait much longer than I did, but six days for me is a long time. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. God, that looks awesome. I don't know if you could see this, but it's actually really well packed. It's in there good. It's got these things in all four corners. Keep it from rocking around too much. Oh, this thing is pretty damn sexy, if I do say so myself. Got a uh, little plastic um, cover on it. Protector, I might say. Here's like the little latch that I've seen other people talk about to raise and lower the stand. That is so cool. All right, so let's get this thing plugged in. I've already got a lot of this stuff ready to go. Not everything, but... Alright. This is my cable. It's my second uh, DVI cable from my graphics card. The first one going to my huge monitor there. It's a uh, DVI single link. DVI D single link to be exact. Make sure I can get it in here. There we go, it went right in. If anybody wants to see the ports a little better, here they are. Got the power port there on the in the middle, USB on the far left. 
the thing in the middle looks like a, a hole or some something like that and then a VGA and then a DVI alright so I gotta get the other things out of the box the other cables let's see all what, what it comes with VGA uh, USB hopefully long enough for my setup uh, that's part of the uh, power brick Ooh, and of course the stylus and the stylus charging cord and the uh, stylus holder with spare nibs in the bottom there awesome holding the camera don't need that I mean from everything I've heard GBI is the way to go with this thing because I mean at the price that we're paying for it um, you know it's not gonna be the greatest but it's definitely gonna do the job for what we need it to do Better at least. <laughs> that is kind of loose in there. Not real loose. I mean, it's not like gonna fall out. Unless you give it a yank, but it's kind of loose. Alright, for this power cable, I'm going to have to pause the movie for a second so I can run it. I'm going to run it right through where my DVI goes through. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished plugging everything in. And so, um, just wanted to show that everything is working. Uh, I had already installed the most up-to-date drivers a couple days ago uh, while waiting for this thing to come. I was getting kind of anxious. Um, I'm charging the pen. If you can see that there. Charging the pen, yeah. Now this thing, I've read a lot of reviews on it. And uh, it does actually have pretty bad viewing angles. Depending on what you can handle. Um, I mean, yeah. Just kind of look at this if you can. I mean, you see this? That's only in the camera. From where I'm sitting, what I see that's different are these up here. I'm holding this camera right in front of my eyes, by the way. But, uh... Yeah, these look a little darker up here. And the rest of the screen is one uniform color. And if you move up like this, if you're about this far away, then I can see everything about the same. Um, you can definitely tell a difference. I mean, this thing does not have the greatest blacks, and I think that's what is the problem. Um, its contrast ratio has got to be just ridiculous. And then that paired with, I guess, parallax maybe. Uh, I don't know a ton about parallax, but I understand a little bit. So, I mean, the glass that's in front of the actual LCD causes a distortion. And I think, uh, I think that's maybe what is doing this, is that glass. Because I know some people have even said like, oh, I pulled out an old monitor and compared it, and even that wasn't as bad. Well, the old monitor doesn't have you know, glass for you to draw on sitting on top of it. So that's my personal opinion. Um, I'm going to get over it either way because this is going to do what I want it to do, 
which is be able to draw on screen. So not much else, you know, can't, can't really complain. Can a little, but only so much. All right. Um, as soon as my pen's done charging and I can unplug it, it does work while plugged in. Oh, that's actually, I got to figure out why it's on the second screen. I don't really want this to be my primary screen as, you know, why would, why would I want my 40 inch to be a uh, secondary? But I mean, if that's what I got to do, then I'll do it. But whatever, as soon as I'll figure that out and the pen is done charging, I'll be back and uh, we'll see how it looks drawing and stuff.